hello and welcome back to the channel in this video i want to talk to you about a natural alternative to sodium pca sodium pca is a synthetic uh, product that a lot a lot of uh, natural skincare brands are running away from so if you're looking for a better natural more you know skin friendly version of sodium eh, is is a substitute for you okay um i will show this to you now so that you can going forward you can use it in your formulation this is sodium lactate sodium lactate is a very good um uh, emectant it also has an uh, antibacterial property okay so if you are looking for a good alternative to sodium for sodium plus pca consider sodium lactate in your formulation it can be used from one percent to five percent it's uh really you know it's it has a very good emectant property and antibacterial property um i remember a while back told someone that you don't really have to use this in your lotion if you have a proper denial, you don't have to but if your lotion calls for sodium pca you can easily replace sodium pca with sodium lactic 60. So looking for a better alternative to a natural substitute to sodium PCA, you're worried about sodium PCA excesses, go for sodium lactate. Not go, you, you will find it very interesting. The antibacterial property is going to help your preservative and your, uh, especially we use it in the water phase. And it's going, the humectant property is also going to help your skincare products. But we don't usually use this all the time for making especially lotion. So keep that in mind. If you have a proper denial, you don't have to use this. Okay. If you have proper denial, if you have glycerin, you don't really have to use sodium lactate. But if you if your uh, formula calls for sodium PCI and you want to make the natural alternative, go for sodium lactate. So that's about this video. It's going to be as short as it is. It's a clear liquid. Okay. It's a clear liquid that you can use uh, the usage rate of uh, one to five percent. As you can see here, it's clear. It's clear, not thick, it's all uh, light and it's very, very wonderful. I don't use it all the time in lotion. I really, do, I can't remember the last time I used it in lotion, but sometimes you can include this in your cream, okay? But I don't, it's not something I use all the time. I rarely use it. I will make another video when I use this, okay? So that's about it for this video. If you want to learn more about making great and stable skincare products, this channel is for you. Click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching everyone.